Hello everybody and welcome back to an episode of The Streak. We are jumping in again this time. We are going as Judas, which is always a risky one to start as. He's a little bit scary, but he's also quite a bit fun. He's just one of those characters that, like, obviously everything can go wrong so, so quickly if you aren't extremely careful. So I've just got to make sure I use my book at the right times and just, just, just play it right. Play it good, play it right. What item are we getting here? Um, eh, baby critters, kind of okay. Kind of okay. It's not the best, but it's a little bit of extra damage here and there, so we don't mind it. We're just going to make sure the fires don't uh, spread to ridiculous levels here and cause problems. But there you go, we're fine. Um, three cent, I probably should have checked in there for a soul heart. Oh god. Oh lord, oh lord, oh lord, oh lord, oh lord. That movable barrel there really scared me. <laughs> really scared me. That's not how that room was meant to go in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> the game clearly did not want that to be what happened. But we got through it, and we got through it with relative ease. We got five cents, so let's see if we can buy ourselves a soul heart. Please, game, please. Oh, no soul heart. Um, what we do have here, though, is a very, very, very good item. Um... That's also pretty good. I mean, there's two really good items. In fact, are, are these even shop items? Both of these are not what I know to be shop items. So I'm a bit confused by that. But if we could manage to get that anchor somehow, that would be really, really nice. Because that anchor is extremely good at removing the odds of uh, being hit by enemies that chase. I am going to be very, very careful here as to not get hit by... The little minstrels, mini monsters, whatever you want to call them. I'm also trying to find a, a nickel or dime or whatever, wherever I possibly can at this point. Unfortunately, we're going into the boss without anything to help us. I will go and quickly check our sack room here, just in case. I could also buy whatever card is in the shop in the hopes that'll help us with either HP or just getting through the uh, the boss fight. I don't know. I'm not not super likely, is it? No soul heart in here, unfortunately. We do not have a bomb for secret rooms. So this has kind of been an unfortunate first floor. Not a great first item. No HP, no bombs, not enough money for a shop item. We've fallen a bit flat here, but we're going into the boss with good damage from our active items, so we should be able to take care of it as long as it's not too hard of a boss, and luckily it is not, especially when we can one-hit the flies he spawns. That makes him a massive amount easier, as you can clearly tell. And hopefully we get some HP up here of any kind. There you go. Beautiful stuff. Now, what we could do is we could hurt ourselves in order to trigger these golden hearts. And I think I will do that in order to try and grab ourselves the um to grab ourselves the what's it called here? The item in the shop. Because that item is very, very good, and I want it. So boom. That was actually pathetic. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen a golden heart give me that little before. Okay, good. Luckily, that other coin there I can just about grab, but I've got to be a little careful. Uh, do you know what? I'm going to go... I know this seems stupid, but I'm going to go back and grab the other heart so that I don't accidentally walk on it and kill myself, because I don't think I'd be able to forgive myself if that happened. <laughs> right. Let's grab. I don't think I'm able to forgive myself if I lost a 50-something streak to accidentally walking on spikes and killing myself. So let's uh, let's go back and make sure to play this a bit safer. And then we'll have enough, just enough, unfortunately. I thought I was hoping to have more than enough to buy this, uh, this, this little anchor item going on here. But this should be grabbable without touching the spikes. Yes, it is. Unfortunately, can't get that other penny. I was a bit wary of that happening, so I was going to use the cash room door instead. But I was scared I'd accidentally walk in and kill myself. But now we can come in here and grab this. Which, this item, um, if you didn't read what it does, it basically anchors enemies down. Um, and means that they can't chase us, which is pretty nice. They also explode some tears when we kill them too, so all around very good. Um, we're on 2 HP as well here, so we've min-maxed a little bit here and got some good stuff out of this first floor. I'm happy to say so. Let's carry on and see what we can get going on. Obviously, we're going Angel Deal this time around here. Um, ooh, Burn Heart, very good, but we'll uh, we will keep it on the floor for now, I think. Yes, there you go. We can take it straight away. 
Let's just not get hit in this room, shall we? No! How did I hit that? It's behind stuff. Oh, this, this is my little baby spectre, dude. Has My baby has fucking spectral shots. God damn it, you little fool. Yeah, you can see all the enemies here are uh, restricted in their movement. You can also see that they're breaking stuff for us, which is rather nice. It's very, very good as an item. Having enemies with restricted movement makes a ton of enemies way, way, way less threatening. And like I said as well, we can somewhat utilize them to uh, destroy stuff for us in certain scenarios. Dude, can you guys stop respawning, please? It's getting it's getting old. Right, there you go. I can take my burn heart now. Good, good, good. And that gives us some angel slash devil deal protection. As for the question of the day, what story game are you playing through at the minute? I'm just about to start on a Red Dead Redemption adventure. Um, I've been wanting to, to sort of play through that game for a while since I got my new PC. I've got a very good excuse to play it in full HD and everything and play it with, like, max settings. And I've also installed a few graphics mods on top of that, too. I'm very excited to... Uh, to get a, get a proper start on a pretty fantastic game that I've only really touched the surface of before. I do own it on PlayStation. I got it when it first came out, but I didn't really play it that much. No, that was just stupid. Yeah, I didn't really play it that much when it first came out. Um, so, going to be a bit of a new one for me, and I'm, I'm quite excited for it. Yeah, this, this is quite funny, having enemies like this that are meant to bop around the room, not able to do so. We do have keys. Good, good. Um... That's pretty decent. That's pretty decent. Increased tier size that remain airborne for a lot longer. Not bad. Does lower our range initially, though. I'm just going to kind of leave a smattering of tears about. I really don't like the fact that we've got this respawn curse on right now. It's not helping my confidence at all. But it's good to be back on some Isaac. I went to the Lake District over the weekend. And had a very good time, so I've had a bit of a break from a uh, bit of a break from Isaac over the past four or five days. Um, it's nice to be back. Nice to be back doing some lovely bit of Isaacing, especially on a streak run as Judas as well. Judas is always a fun one. It's just that that early game just has such significant risk to it. It really, it really sort of hems up the the need for min maxing and, and playing well. And so, it is why I did so. It is why I did so. Unfortunately, some enemies do not seem to get anchored. Such as these. So the enemies you'd want to be anchored, if anything, really. Oh, can we not with the respawning again? I kind of like Crater Baby just being able to uh, deal some good damage to uh, enemies that sort of chase us. Enemies that walk behind us kind of just take the full brunt of Crater Baby's um, circle of tears that he's produced. Otherwise, he's kind of trash. <laughs> but in that scenario, reasonably decent. Reasonably decent. Due to the good amount of tears. More HP is lovely. Uh, we're still going to stick on the Angel Deal path. In fact, I think on this run I am going to try and do Mega Satan, if plausible. We get an XL floor here. Luckily, our Burn Heart is going to keep our Angel Deal chances alive. We her. I've just started watching the uh, the Fallout TV series as well. Uh, watch the first two episodes of that. I'm a, I'm a reasonably decent fan of the Fallout series. I've played through uh, New Vegas and I've played through Fallout 4. Um, and I enjoyed both of them a lot, uh, and so yeah, I'm quite I'm quite excited to um, to carry on with the Fallout series. So far, I'm really enjoying it. There's definitely a few like inaccuracies that I've noticed thus far, but really, I I don't want to be the person that's like, oh, it's not exactly like the game because it's not meant to be exactly like the game. They're using they're using the the world from the video game to tell a different story, and that's fine. It doesn't have to be, like, super lore accurate. Although, I will say, they've done a pretty decent job so far with keeping things accurate. Like, there's a lot of it stuff in there that is reasonably accurate and is sort of following on after the show. They haven't, like, drastically altered certain things. Um, so, it is kind of nice to see that some of it's there. But, like, one of the things I noticed is... is I won't spoil too much, but in uh, the second episode, there's some power armor. And the power armor is a lot, lot, lot lighter than it should be. <laughs> There, there's there's some maneuvers that that take place that are not not too uh, not too accurate to what you'd normally see. Um, so that that's definitely something that I noticed. But like I said, I don't want to be that person that's like, oh, it's not exactly. It doesn't follow my precious law. I like I don't really care. It's not meant to. 
It's meant for an entirely different... Well, I wouldn't say it's not meant for an entirely different audience, but it's meant to appeal to an entirely different audience. An audience that doesn't have the previous knowledge of the games. And it's meant to be introducing to them to the world so they can then go and play the games and find out that extra information and stuff. So it's the same with when uh, when there was the Last of Us TV show, which was also really good. And that's, that's, that's just something generally to mention. The fact that we're in an era where video games are getting TV adaptations that are actually fucking good. Like... Finally, that's it's awesome to see. Um, but it was it was a similar story with The Last of Us, where there were some inaccuracies and some things that changed from the game. But it's fine. It's it's a different adaptation of the story and for a, a different audience. Throwable spawn a football familiar that can be picked up and thrown at enemies. The football deals damage based on its speed. Interesting. This is um from this is Johnny's football. This isn't it. So we start each room holding it. And it spawns there if we drop it in a pit. It seems interesting. It, it like it seems to have some some pseudo sort of homing. It bounces towards the enemies that we're uh, going for, which is good. We do have another item room to uh, to find first. I don't know how much I'll end up using that. It's one of those things where if I if I walk into a room and it automatically picks it up, then yeah, I'll throw it at an enemy. But if it does that, then I'm not gonna I'm not gonna fret. I'm not gonna worry. Yeah, it seems to specifically bounce towards and uh, against enemies, which is kind of nice. It says deals damage based on its speed. I wonder if there's any ways to increase its speed or if it is just like it just travels as fast as it does. Oh dude. Let's not let's not lose my angel deal and a burn heart in one fell swoop, shall we? Especially not to these geezers. It's not a not a room I like the look of. I can, like, bounce it off the enemy and, like, throw it back to myself. That's kind of funny. I like it. Oh, really? Spawn there? Right, we're going to need a heart pretty pretty sharpish. Oh, God. I don't like the, uh, the position I've put myself in here. That was very close to me getting hit there. I don't know how I didn't, actually. Okay. We've got no hearts about um, um, along the floor. See, now this is where you like having the chain. Another burn heart? Damn you, game. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't think the football's really going to be a, a top contender for dealing damage. Hey, there you go. That's all we needed to give ourselves that little bit of safety we were looking for. And there's a second item room. Although we don't have a key for it as, as of yet. So at the minute it's not super useful. At the minute the item room isn't super useful. But we'll get there. Come on key. Where art thou? In all of this Excel flawness. You can surely, there you go. Give me a key. In here, unfortunately not something we're looking for. We don't really have money for a shop either, or keys for a shop for that matter, so that's not really something we need to look for on this floor. We do get suplex. Which I do think is probably better than our current active. Because our current active, while good, isn't like... Su it, it just has too good to use syndrome. I don't get chance to use it all the time. Suplex, however, I like the idea behind uh, being able to slam dank on people. It also gives us some iframes as well, which is rather nice. And also, Suplex is one of the items that I feel like I rarely get to use. But sometimes it does that, where you'll go to grab an enemy and it'll just be like, nah, maybe not. It'd be funny if we didn't. But sometimes it'll just not grab the enemy. and We don't like that. There you go. You can also get over gaps with it too, but that's that's, that's rather annoyed me that has that um, it just tried to slam dunk someone and decided, no, I'm not going to. Dude, it did it again. I just I just lost my angel deal. Some absolute horse shit. Okay, bye suplex. You've pushed me to the edge. You pushed me to this, you stupid bitch. I'm not taking it now. It ruined it for itself. 
You had a good thing going for yourself, and you goddamn ruined it. You had a good thing going for yourself, and you pushed me to the edge. I'm not having it. I'm off. Put myself... I've compromised my angel deal and I've put my health in a difficult position. And I've just used my book in the wrong fucking room. God damn. Obviously not what I meant to do. I read the map incorrectly. Read my map very incorrectly. Oh, bollocks. I didn't realize that guy shot. Yeah, I'm not 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 liking not liking how this has gone so far. This might this might not be great for our uh, survival rates here. Um, I've uh, I've I, I've I've bungled it, so to say. I've heavily heavily bungled it. Through stupidity. Football's doing good against weak enemies, I'll say that. Right, can we stop with the people that are laying down poison, please? That's also no bueno. Oh, I really need some HP there or something. Okay, it's seriously going to make us fight the boss with very minimal HP. Okay. Uh, unless we can find a secret room, which I'll be honest, I'm also not too sure about. It could be here. I'm trying to look at where else it could be. It could be here, so I'm going to test here. Ah, bollocks. This isn't good. This is very, very bad. This this boss could easily end our life. So let's 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 see if the streak is dead to what I am accounting to suplex. Now we do have two bosses here, which is good. That was close. This isn't a super hard boss, but it's ne neither is, is it an easy boss. I did forget we had two bosses in a row here, which is a good and bad thing. That was close. I'm pretty sure this guy does full heart damage on a charge as well, so let's not get mixed up in that, please. Okay, one dead. That is some health and some damage there. Lovely. Okay. Okay. This would have been bad if we didn't have one heart. This would have been really bad. Okay. The football. Football's doing some, some doing some stuff. I didn't realize it was going to be quite so good in rooms full of enemies, but it seems to be. Now, I do have smaller tiers because of my sour thingy that I just picked up, my lime thing. Okay. The babies are active and out to hunt. But this didn't go too bad. We didn't get the angel deal, but that was kind of to be expected with the fumble that I made earlier. Right, let's get out of this floor because I am ashamed of my behavior. <laughs> I'm ashamed of how all of that went. It was not professional. It was not good. But yeah, as I was saying, like, about, like, TV shows and stuff, it's just nice to, like, that we're in an era where it is genuinely plausible to have a TV show adaptation of a game that isn't complete garbage. Like, who do- really? You're gonna telefrag me at this hour? I don't have time for this bullshit. Really? Another heart there. Thank you. Gonna have to be picky and choosy about where I use my actives. Oh god, these are, these skulls are doing some weird stuff with these chains. Oh god. Taking some bad damage. Thank you for the soul heart repayment there, though. Wasn't expecting it, but very happy for it. Dude! Okay, the, um... These little fellas are not impeded in any way, shape, or form. By the, uh, by the, the things that hold them secure. This is bad. We are going to lose our angel deal again, most likely, here. 
Unless we can get another soul heart back. I've already been given too many chances, but I don't think I'm going to get many more. Uh, these guys can shoot into tiers of four shots when we kill them, so be aware of that for fuck's sake. I just said be aware of it, you moron. Oh, I'm, I'm not... I'm not at all happy with how I'm playing right now. This was this was clearly not a day to be to be fucking messing around on the streak. I am playing like utter garbage. You could really do with that angel deal. And I am yeah, I'm playing bad. I'm playing real bad. Please, item, be good. Items th thus far have been pretty good to be to be fair. Our items thus far have been pretty good. But I'm still not best pleased with how I've played thus far. I am going to go into this curse room just on the off chance of getting an item. Ah, oh, that was stupid of me. Okay. That did give us some stats though, which is nice. And we can replenish our HP through the hearts on the floor. Gotta say, I'm, 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 I don't really like the fact that the football always spawns directly on the door. It's kind of annoying. The good thing is we've got very good damage, so if we can keep our HP a little more lively, then we're actually in a pretty good spot. But yeah, I don't like the fact that these guys don't don't get bound down by the chains that hold them. The, 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 the chains that hold them seem to not even remotely matter, to be honest. Oh, man. How do I keep getting hit by stuff? I'm playing like a buffoon. I'm not paying attention to like the pipes and stuff. Ah, oh, bollocks. Honestly, the chain thing's kind of making some rooms harder than they should be. Uh, I think I'm just going to go for the boss. Oh, and really? Really? You're going to give me this boss where I can't get a good item? That really makes me feel better. Come the bombs. Well, they just clear out quite a lot of detritus for us. Okay. Yeah. Um. No angel deal there either, which I'm. I was really hoping we'd get. If we don't get an angel deal on this floor, I think we're in for a really hard time. And yeah, uh, literally instantly lost the fucking chance. I mean, what the fuck is this room, man? The the anchors are making things significantly harder. <laughs> I really thought the anchors would be very good, but it turns out what the anchors have done is just means means that enemies group up way easier and it causes problems. So, not particularly happy with that. I've uh, I've, I've somewhat played myself there, and my health is uh, still really, really, really bad. The good thing is my damage is good, but my health is still really, really, really bad. That's the thing that kind of matters for surviving, right? I'm not particularly best pleased. What, what are we not going to do now? Fuck this room. See, this is where I wish I had suplex, but suplex let me down. Oh, dude, we took a full heart of damage there. One of these enemies does full heart damage, and I don't know which one. We are back down to one heart again. I honestly think this might be this might be the end, people. This might be the end. This this is feeling very end-ish. It's feeling very the end-ish. Last D20 is kind of good. You are a contraband boy. I'll be taking that, thank you. It's an item on the next floor at least, or something. Okay. 
And some HP real sharpish here, game. Item room, feel free to save our life also. Fettered is pretty good. I don't want to pick you up, football. Fettered is decent. Not the HP we need, but it's decent. Sometimes it picks up the football instantly. And sometimes it doesn't. And I'm playing like it does every time. Like I'm, I'm playing into the football to try and utilize some of its damage. But it just doesn't always instantly pick up, which makes it kind of fucking useless. Either pick up every time or don't. Ever. Like, don't, don't play me about. Okay, that helps. Spawn a trapdoor to a crawl space is pretty good. Honestly, this ain't worth cube, baby. I'm sorry. You're, you're cute, but right now it ain't worth it. Keeping you at bay is very good. I'll try and take you out first. Really would have thought this guy would be easier to hit. Don't know why none of these tiers are hitting, but it's not good. Come on, heart, please. Damn it, game. I'm focusing up super hard right now. Okay, finally we're not in one-hit territory. Finally. Doesn't get us out of the woods yet, though. Still potentially more pain to come. Look upgrade. Oh, what the fuck? I got hit by something then. I don't know what. I think it was the little contraband ghost. So we're back in one-hit territory. Literally instantly after I escaped it. That's always fun. Do these ghosts shoot? I'm pretty sure these ghosts shoot. There they do. Yes, indeed. Honestly, pills right now. My best goddamn shot. Yeah, it's this little fucker that got me. Fuck you. Get out of here. Oh, my God. Nice. Beautiful. That's all I was hoping for. Just one black heart will do me. One black heart keeps me out of trouble. This 48% angel chance really has to pay off here. Otherwise, we, uh, we're in some more dark times. Honestly, that football ain't getting picked up. <laughs> I know what's going to happen. If I try and pick up that football, a foot, a foot or something, I'll come straight out that wall. Nope, I'm going to grab it. Yay, I got it. So it does do a good amount of damage once it gets going. And it's got a few targets to bounce between. It does a good job. Some of these hits are not hitting me when they should be. Right. No angel deal again. So I, I've i got to say I think we're fucked. <laughs> Our power is, is low. Our health is low. Ooh, baby. A fucking range up and a half heart. Are you kidding me? Not even remotely what we needed. Also, what is this room? Can, can you open up, please, you shithead? My god. Uh, what the fuck happened then?
Why do you get dragged towards me? What was that about? Oh my lord. Um, I'm... I'm going to have to pop this now and, and take the Eternal Heart. It's more valuable. Yeah, look like that. Then the football does that. Oh my lord. Oh my lord, is it good. It doesn't, it doesn't do that often. Better enemies doing some good work. We need to fill up a, a red heart before we pick up that half black heart, I think. You guys want to chill out for a bit? Maybe not be the way that you are. Oh no, where did that holy mantle hit? Actually gave me a black heart that time. That was a really bad holy mantle hit though. Very, very stupid of me. Man, these fucking enemies are awful. These rooms are awful. This life is awful. Bomb for a bomb, don't think that does much for us. Ooh, that's nice. I think I can sneak in and burn up. No. I think I have to have high speed to get that without taking damage, but somehow I managed it. God damn, I wasn't expecting that. Cool. Charge key doesn't do much for us right now, but I guess I'll take it. I kind of need keys. Okay, you are now dead as well, good sir. Fuck me, this has been an awe fucking deal. <laughs> How are we still alive? Run has surpassed what I would expect of it. Don't like the fact that we've got this going on. What the f- Mate. Fuck this room. What the fuck's this bullshit? The fuck was that? I swear, whenever I'm on bad runs, I come across rooms that, like, I've never seen before and are just, like, the most awful things to ever be conceived. So now we're back down to having an eternal heart left. I'm almost certain this isn't the right way, but... I guess the game could be nice to me. It wasn't, but there you go. We got something. We're just not getting like HP drops, like really. That's a problem. Had a few soul hearts throughout the whole run. That's kind of it. How am I meant to attack these guys? What's what's the what's the procedure on these boys? Oh my lord! And my room rewards as well. They suck. Oh my fucking life, what the fuck is this room? There goes my angel deal again. What the fuck is this room? Oh lord. I am well annoyed. That burn hit me as well, okay. It was fun, Streak. It was fun while it lasted, but... <laughs> I think it's over, people. I think it's over. I don't even know this, like, boss very well either, so I don't even know what to expect from this boss. I know he rolls. I can see him doing that. Okay, we got him. We got an angel deal. We also got Lemonhead as well. Fuck me. Are you kidding me? We finally get an angel deal, and that's what you give me. Oh, Lord. Okay. Okay. The game is not a generous soul on this day. That 
that's a good heart to get. We like that. We like that heart. That's a good heart to get. Oh my good. This game's brutal at the moment. Fuck you, game. I don't really have the range to kill these guys effectively either, so I'm going to have to get close. Kind of have to get close and then zoom away so the fire doesn't hit me. To be fair, this is a little easier now that we don't have the wall next to us as close. We are doing good damage to him at least. Okay. Oh, a heart. My goodness. Surviving on a wing and a prayer right now. A wing and a prayer. We can split these above a uh, rock. They don't leave an enemy behind, so that's good. Probably should have left that for a bit later, but I just want the full HP now, to be honest. Makes me feel safer. Yeah, I'm, I, unfortunately, the commentary quality has taken a dive. I, I understand, but c come on. Look at the scenario we're in right now. Ooh, that's very good. We'll take that. Slightly lowers our DPS, but I think it's worth it. Good, taking care of you. Two more of these nubbins. These are easy enemies to kill for us, luckily. Another heart there. Good stuff. Football. Yeah. The football did a fantastic job there. If you can get the football in and behind enemies, it's actually fucking fantastic. It's phenomenally good. But it's just super rare that that actually happens. Like that then, if it, if it had gone past the first enemy, it would have been great. It doesn't like doing that. Alright, taking care of you. This has been the closest we've, we've come to a, to a loss of the streak thus far. Yeah, you fucker. I lost the heart. I was really trying my hardest not to lose. I don't much like that. Also, this boss can be an absolute pain sometimes. Depends what he spawns. If he spawns bosses, he's an asshole. Oh, what the fuck? A bomb? I didn't know you spawned bombs. There you go. He's spawning bosses. Oh, and also my baby crater. Nicely destroys the uh, the poop that was there that was there to save my life. Thank you for that. Onto this bullshit. And up we go. Right. Oh, I should have gone back for that heart. That was stupid. But it will come with me because I have my trinket, I think. Yes, it does. Lovely. It also transforms into a different heart, too. I think this lasts for the floor, or does it last for the room? It lasts for the floor. Nice. Okay. That's good, at least. I don't know what's going on with my familiar right now, but it's having a time. I got hit there by something. What the... F what the actual fuck was this guy doing then? Do you see how fast he was firing? So we're, we're basically fucked now, unfortunately. I don't know what happened there. I can't work out why that worked the way it did, but it did, and it's put us in a, a very dire situation now. Was there any other HP in that room? I don't think there was, was there? Very much no, there wasn't. Fuck me, man. This has been something else, man. Come on, bomb. Do something, please. 
There's a lot of herming shots around here that I don't want to get involved with. Thank you. I don't exactly know what these guys do on their own. I'm sure it ain't good. I'm sure it ain't good. Oh, aha. Right. Do we bomb these two? I think we do, don't we? I only got one of them for it. Oh, you spawn things that fire bouncy shots around the room. We like that, don't we? God damn. Oh, Soul Heart in there, though. It's lovely. Unexpected and beautiful. Oh, god damn. The game is like pulling away. Like, it's literally like teasing the fuck out of me. Nothing there. Definitely a room to use this in. Fuck these things. Bigly. Right, two more left. Yeah. Probably not the right way either. Oh no, it's not the right way, but this does help. I don't, do I want to open this though? I've got four keys. If I survive to the next vault, the four keys are more valuable for the items. I do not like how this is going. <laughs> it's a horrible room right there. That was a herming shot that very nearly got me. Luckily, these guys being on leashes is actually pretty useful. Good. Well, there's one key I can use on this, at least. Damn. <laughs> Useless. Oh, god damn, this has been stressful. This has been a stressful one. I don't know what's going on in this room. I do not like it, though. There is little diamonds floating around these guys, and I don't know what they're doing. There's fires everywhere. Okay, the, di the, the guys actually aren't too strong. Okay, they become their own enemies after that point, I see. Always prioritize the fettered enemies first, because they deal damage to everything. Let's see. Got the boss again. We've got two more keys. We're scrounging for HP from this chest. We are scrounging for HP from this chest. In the hopes it might pay out. Ah, oh, bugger you, fucking game. Right, this is going to be kind of a rough boss fight. We've got half decent damage going in. We've got three bombs to work with. I reckon we use them. The bombs do destroy shots as well, but that's really not, like, primary use case for them. I can't believe. So, I can't believe I got hit there, but I, I also can't believe that fucking baby crater. I get my holy poop, the only thing I receive from an angel deal, and my fucking crater baby's like, nah, pal. Not gonna let you take advantage of that one. That would be too easy. That would be too fucking easy. Oh, man. I've taken some very dumb damage here. Oh no! There it is. The end of the streak. Oh man. It's both a sadness and a relief. 54 wins in a row that was, something like that. Just a pretty fucking awful run. Uh, the I, I definitely regret the rusty anchor. I should have taken the other item. The other item probably would have been better overall. And yeah, I just got unlucky with HP and angel deals overall. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.